Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today, I thought I would do a quick update on me. Mm -hmm. So some of you may know me and have been following for a while, but others may be new and there's been a lot of changes. And so I thought I'd do a video on clarifying all of the changes and the update. So if you don't know me, we are a family of six that moved to New Zealand from the US and have been in New Zealand for a total of seven years. So most of my content is about the differences and what it's like moving your family across the world. But today we're gonna do a little reflection and talk a little bit about what's going on with me. Here we go. So if you don't know, I have been a professor of business, communication, marketing for over 20 years. And I've been teaching here in New Zealand, which I loved. I love being a teacher. I love my students, uh, but I also love being an entrepreneur. You'll find as I go in more in depth on here, you'll see like I'm all over the place. I like a lot of different things. So I don't know if you can relate to me, but that's me. So I like to do a lot of different things. And if you don't know, uh, back in 2000 and wouldn't it have been like five. Yeah, 2005, six, I started a construction company. So I ran a construction company for three years. I've also had my own organic skincare line. And then um, I have an Amazon business that I still run. And so those were kind of my entrepreneurial adventures in the past. And so when I came to New Zealand was kind of the first time in a while that I had taken a regular job, if you will. Uh, and, <laughs> and it's been good. There's definitely pros and cons to both ways of doing things. But as you know, I've been doing um, this YouTube channel and building my brand and starting a couple other companies on the side and so I have quit my job and have officially dove into entrepreneurship or should I say solopreneur I don't know if you guys are entrepreneurs it's quite lonely uh, you know it's just kind of you you know I would love to have a team you know but then there's also disadvantages to that as you all know as well <laughs> um, but like yeah so it can be kind of lonely, but I love it. Um, and that's what I am currently doing. So in this video, I'm gonna highlight all of my new businesses and all of the things I've been up to as of late. Here we go. Okay, so let's talk about my personal brand. So my first business that I run is Kiwi Americans, as you see from this channel, uh, and I love it. And I've been doing it for about two years now. And uh, it all started with TikTok. If you don't know, it originally started with TikTok. I have most the most followers on TikTok. I have recently gone viral with a video that I <laughs> created for another company. So they paid me to do it and it has 3 million views only in New Zealand. So that's a lot when there's only 5 million people here, but <laughs> I love TikTok. I love the platform. Uh, and what happened was is my TikTok community actually begged me, literally begged me to do a YouTube channel. And I was like, mm, no, I don't really, I don't really know YouTube. I don't even consume YouTube that much. And beg, 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 and I listened, and I'm like, fine. Because back then, you could only make a 60-second TikTok video, and so they wanted to hear more, and it just, I needed a more long-form video platform, and ended up loving YouTube. <laughs> YouTube meaning, like, easily one of my favorite by now. So I really like TikTok for short form, but YouTube is right up in there, and they're really great with their um, ads platform you can actually make money to talk about whatever it is that you want and I don't make a lot don't get me wrong it's nothing significant but um, it's at least something something for your time I guess and uh, and I'm getting a lot of brand deals so within my personal brand I um, do lots of social media posts I get brand deals I've started a company um, off of my audience and some of the things that would be really helpful to them. So for example, I have a consulting service where I help people move here from the US. I also recently started a training hub, which you probably see me talk about. Um, and that's for anybody that is moving here and kind of everything you need to know to get life set up here in New Zealand, meet other people in the same situation and have um, access to me a little bit more. And so that's really cool. And I just redesigned my website uh, back in June and just kind of launched this. So go check it out, kiwiamericans.com. And that kind of summarizes everything I have in my personal brand and what I'm doing and have really enjoyed that and have been really talking to some fun New Zealand companies as of late. Might be, might be able to see this face on Air New Zealand soon for some in-flight entertainment, but more on that later. All right, second business I'd like to talk about. So I'm kind of going in the order of the biggest incomes for me, if you will. The second one is my new digital marketing company that I started with a partner of mine. 
she's great and we came up with this business because we just feel that the resources out in the market we've taught these kind of classes uh, and we know what people are getting out in the market and we feel like that they're not getting the right stuff to be honest <laughs> that's kind of where it started because when you have to learn digital marketing people teach you how to do it like in your mind but the reality is is that if you don't actually practice doing digital marketing you don't actually know how to do it so then when you go and get a job you don't really feel like you know what you're doing so we started a coaching program to help small businesses actually learn how to do social media marketing we have our own courses we have a course coming up in september uh, on social media marketing, which is awesome. It's the only course in New Zealand that uh, actually in the world, because I, I've worked with this company in the US that offers a simulation. And so what that means is we're gonna teach you digital marketing, then we're gonna give you an actual company to work with where you can practice doing ads and practice doing organic posts and getting analytics and learning how to read those. So actually practicing doing it and what you think about and how to decide on this or that and what makes sense on this platform and what makes so many good things that you're not learning by just learning general information. And so in addition to the big courses, we have some mini courses coming up, like a mini digital marketing course, a mini like how to create short form video course, like anything that we are hearing our clients tell us would be helpful. And then I do one-on-one, -on -one, I do some marketing for some organizations. So I love it. I love it. It's all, you know, it's definitely connected to my other business, right? So being out there, being successful on the social media platforms and then teaching other people how to do it obviously <laughs> goes together and, and in line. So if you are somebody in need of any of that, I am here to help you. And we have some really amazing services and also work um, with the business council. And so there are funds set up for small businesses if you book us through them. So that's a great option as well. Now the third business, kind of another consulting business that I'm running, um, very side side, <laughs> but I love it and I'm passionate about it. And it's actually going quite well is me and my research partner. When we were at the university together, we've done research and we studied how can people be better online communicators? Whether it's teachers, business people, like there, there's, there's a piece that we're missing. Like we could just see it, we could feel it. And so we've done some research and our research was around nonverbal communication. And number one, does it exist online? And number two, if it does, then what does that mean in the way that we're communicating? And so actually it's been proven by a researcher in Canada that it does exist. And we've done the research here in Singapore and in New Zealand, and it has shown to be true. We've created a framework that he has been um, using in his courses and has had unbelievable success with it, like 100% completion rates when he has a lot to overcome with like, it's he's teaching statistics, number one, that's boring, okay? And then number two, his students, you know, maybe they struggle with language barriers, cultural barriers, doesn't matter the framework works because we've brought people back into online learning. So if you are a teacher, you know of a teacher, we have a free course that kind of introduces the framework. We're just trying to get it out there because we think it would be really, really helpful. And he's been starting to train teachers up on it because universities are like, how are you so successful? This doesn't make sense because it went from really low completion rates to now 100% over and over and over what are you doing differently, right? And so it's actually a really different way of thinking about teaching online. And so um, I will put the links to all these businesses below. <laughs> if you wanna go check them out and if that's helpful to you, then that's good. I'm not doing this video like to necessarily advertise it. I just want you guys to know um, what's going on with me and what I've been spending my time because I've been getting some questions about that as well. So my second business is kind of a consulting business, helping teachers, business professionals, organizations, just learn better online. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the update on me. I won't make it too long. I'm gonna talk about myself too much uh, in this video, but I just wanted to let you know what's going on with me. So please, if you have any questions about anything that I said, please comment below. Feel free to reach out if any of my services could be of use to you. I love you guys. I love this community. Would love to know what kind of content you'd like to hear because I think, as you can see, I'm into a lot of things and we'll probably be producing more content on this channel around some of the other things that I do. So if there is a topic that is of interest to you, please let me know and I'll see you guys next week.